I'm Sandra Fien from Ohio. Ash Monday. Cigar butt rests in a three inch clear glass shoe on a miniature knickknack shelf. Birthday party residue. 60 year old female grants earlier request to smoke cigar with centenarian. Nothing in her life commemorates sense so deliciously until this moment. My name is Anayami. A single student sits in the center of the first floor where other high school students avoid every first day. Rich coffee skin, prominent cheekbones, and a ballerina neck keenly distinguish an exclamation point posture. She restacks five new notebooks, lines pens and bright pink post-its on top of them while I distribute the sophomore syllabus to a room punctuated with acute inattention, begin reading it aloud, her eyes unswerving. Three colored highlighters stand erect in her left hand while her right hand maneuvers the use of a fourth, along with a sharpened pencil over the syllabus. At the same time, folded a dozen times, other copies accumulate on the floor. Other students are oblivious, obsessed texting and tweets. She raises her hand, articulates a question with impeccable grammar, a slight accent. I ask her name again and its pronunciation. My name is Anayami. That's A, N, A. N, A is the accented syllable and pronounced like a long I. Nye, like sky. E, sounds like a short E sound and M, Y, pronounced like me. She states deliberately, continues, I was born in Gambia, the mouth of Africa. I come from the Mundinka tribe. My father is Gambian and my mother is Cuban. My mother is a United Nations nurse. A few years ago, my mother and I moved to Haiti. Well, there we survived the 2010 earthquake. We recently arrived in the US because I want to attend college here. Her spirited disclosure prompts some students to lift their heads. Intuition tells me more stories of resilience are to come. In that remarkable moment, our bond begins.